The beloved Atlanta personality who many of you have listened to on the radio for years now. Well, tonight we've learned that DJ Steve McCoy is bravely fighting advanced Parkinson's disease and no longer has a voice. Atlanta News First, Rachel Aragon, she's live at five outside the Punchline Comedy Club on Roswell Road. And Rachel, that's where Steve's fans, they've kind of hatched a plan to help celebrate him. Yeah, truly, and we know it's very fitting that the event will happen right here during a night of comedy because for so many years, we know Steve and his co-host Vicky love to make people laugh early in the morning. Steve McCoy and Vicky Long. Oh, you didn't get it yet? No. What happened? I don't know. <laughs> Must be stuck in the mailbox. The dynamic duo of Atlanta Morning Radio for decades, along with sidekick Tom Sullivan. I know. So neither one counter. of you, neither one of you, wish me a happy birthday. Your See, husband did, oh, Vicky. On Facebook, did. on Facebook, we did. Oh uh, well, you didn't I had call a me. Of the cake. But now Steve can no longer speak. He's battling advanced Parkinson's disease and needs round-the-clock care at age 69. Parkinson's is insidious, and it is, and I just hope that we can help others. I know that's what his family is hoping. In their heyday, any celebrity who came through town stopped by their studio. We interviewed Michael J. Fox in the 90s before Steve was ever diagnosed. Steve is known for his generosity to Atlanta charities. Even when Steve was diagnosed 15 years ago, he jumped a volunteer for the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research. Now Steve's radio family is on a mission to help his family and many others in the area. An online fundraiser has been set up to help with Steve's care. He is now on hospice. His family insisted that half the money raised go to the Atlanta Neuroscience Foundation foundation to help other caregivers. A charity that helps people who are going through the same thing who otherwise wouldn't have the funds or you know the resources to uh, to ease the burden. Even when battling Parkinson's, Steve found a way to laugh with his former co-hosts in the mid 2000s with their own podcast. It was an excuse for us all to get together and two, Steve loves radio more than anything. And three, it was just a lot of fun doing it again. The two visited Steve last month. They say he's still making people smile early in the morning. Steve may not be able to express it, but he has joy in his heart and loves, you know, just that everyone is rallying to support him. You know that he knows what you're saying and he could feel the love from all of us. And that stand up for Steve McCoy against Parkinson's. Again, that event taking place here at the Punchline Comedy Club on August 27th. We, of course, have more information on our app and our website about that event and the fundraiser at AtlantaNewsFirst.com. Pray live in Atlanta. Rachel Aragon, Atlanta News First. Rachel, thank you.